Hey everybody, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and... Well, let's play some Underrail, shall we? So... I've... Finally put to rest these particularly irksome lurkers, and now I get to deal with these crazy bug things. Uh, so let's see how that goes. So let's stealth up and see, you know, what's going on here. The hatchlings came over, but are they gone now? Was that truly it? Let me see. I mean, I see eggs, right? But I don't see much else. Let's find out. More eggs. Oh, here's a laser pistol. Wow, and it's a very good one. It it sells for an amazing amount of money. And here's some protectorate propaganda. Uh, so, perfect. We found another oddity. And that's a hacking box. Let me save it. This is looking very, very scary over here. With eggs and all kinds of weird stuff. Let me look on the map where I am. So there's something going on over here, and I don't know what this is, but we're going to find out. Looks like we're going into a dark cave, which is not very promising. Oh, oh no. Interesting. All right, so we, we are indeed in the caves. Um, we're still stealthed, which is merciful. I saw something scurry across the screen up there. I don't know if it was a hopper. Or, oh, it's a spawn. Okay, well, we have problems. All right, so um, let me take this out. Now, I don't know how this works. Cryokinesis, anyway. Okay. It works very, very well, actually. All right, so let's then just see how many of these things there are. Oh, boy. Oh, there's at least this one that came up and got a critical hit, which... I now realize I'm not fully healed, and so that's problematic. Let me heal myself. And again, I need to go back to SGS and just buy all the bandages that they can provide. My buddy Jean-Luc was telling me that um, Fixer sells component parts for psionics, if I want that. Um, here's a burrower. Now, is this guy bad? Or, I mean, he looks bad. It looks like there's nothing but bad resulting in this guy. So, I'm just gonna see... Oh, boy, he has an amazing amount of hit points. Isn't that troubling? Let me see, then, if I can pre-med a telekinetic punch on this guy. We did get him stunned, and then we can just cryo... Okay, and then pass the turn. Cryo... Hopefully, this will take him down. All right, it didn't, but I think I can get to a point where he just can't reach me. Unless he can shoot. He made it like an egg bomb which isn't good. But we did put him down. And then, what is this? It's an egg. Uh, can I just shoot it and did not have to deal with it? Apparently, we got it. Okay, great. Combat's over. Um, terrific. So I'm going to stealth up while I regenerate my psionics points. Okay, now my reserves are pitifully low, um, but I'm going to just be very, very greedy. I'll save it and try to save, like burn through my side points before I huff ether, but we'll see how that goes. Um, this is a burrower poison gland, which, you know, I can 
extract something from it. I don't know what, but I'm, I'm going to investigate. Here's some collapsed rocks. I, it is a, a wonder to me if, like, if ever in the game you get some way to deal with these rocks. I mean, I could throw grenades, you know, but I don't know if that's actually going to do anything. I could save it and just see, I guess, if I was really, really intent on it. Um, because otherwise, this just ends up being a complete dead end, right? So let me just save it, and just for the heck of it, um, you know, throw like a frag grenade. Well, let's try not to hit me. Um, let's throw it like right here and see what happens. So we missed, um, which is embarrassing, but whatever, we have time. So let me try this again. Whenever this cools down. And then, yeah, try it again. Throw it right there. Okay, for the love of God, I'm just trying to hit this. Um, <laughs> it's not looking like any damage is being dealt, but I still want to see. Alright, I'm going to try to throw it up here. Maybe if you miss, it'll be like... Okay, that was a good hit, but see, now I can actually see it did zero damage. And it's it's weird, it's like, it tells me, like, that they have 70% health, you know, um, and I don't know what that means. But I do know that I was not able to do anything to it. So, we came over here, we fought some stuff, and this proved to be just basically a dead end. There was, like, a burrower, maybe if I really wanted to get that burrower gland or if there's an oddity associated with a burrower that you were you know hell bent on acquiring but end of the day it looks like um i'm just gonna mouse around and make sure there's no secret passage that i overlooked or anything like that yeah it looks like there's nothing else and that's fine okay whatever you win some, you lose some. I mean, we won in the sense that we're not dead. Uh, so that's good. Let's just go ahead and walk really fast. And say, all right, well, we we did this part. We did this section. Um, you know, maybe you can get to that room from somewhere else, and then that's your escape hatch or something could be don't know um all right so we can go back here uh all right boy i think i'm here i can go down i can go over here or i can go over here so i think then yeah i think i've done everything and we can just call it a day We've gotten plenty of good stuff in terms of oddities and all of that jazz. So maybe then I should... Oh, it looks like I haven't been up here, though. Um, all right, well, let's go over here. You know, save it. And then go it. And then I'm going to stealth... I'm just going to look around up here, see if there's anything noteworthy. Um, oh, okay. Can I open this? Ah, it's got some lock picking to it. Well, I can get through this. All right, what you got? You got some shelves, and um, we have some rat hounds. Okay, well, rat hounds, what a pleasant surprise. I haven't seen one in a while. We're now at the point where we just like obliterate rat hounds maybe not rat hound alpha maybe that's still too hard so i'm just gonna wait and here they come now the good thing is uh, what i can do here is basically pre-med electro and then stun the alpha right and then i'll just uh do this and this should kill this guy Okay, and then we can hit the alpha again like this. So the alpha is still kind of tough. He's like still standing in there, but this should do it. There you go. Perfect. And now this is a great time to 
use our ether. And so we, like, maximized value right there. All right. Perfect. I'm going to save it. This looks like a, like the head honcho's sleeping quarters. He's got some nice graffiti here. Um, maybe a meth lab set up. Really just a great operation. Ooh, a bandage. Basically as good as it gets. That's no good. Hey, hey. Unfortunately, um, we've gotten all of the joy out of this that we can. We can't we can no longer learn anything from those, but we can learn something from this train schedule, and we will. This is called the Insulated Riot Overcoat with Steel Shield. Um, holy smokes. It's really good against a lot of things. It has a 35% chance to block up to 19 points of mechanical melee damage, okay. It also has an increased threshold of 100% against bullets and shotgun shells, good. And it gives you an 100% threshold against melee attacks. Um, but if you're wearing this, you can't wield two-handed weapons, which I don't. Um, and it has 18% resistance against mechanical, but I guess, like, if it's against bullets, it would double and go up to 36% to 8, maybe? Like, 8 damage? Um, and all of that's fantastic, except the armor penalty. Uh, so I have to just accept the fact that I, ca I can't wear that, I don't think, because the armor penalty would be too significant. This gives me stealth, and so that's just not the right type of armor for me, but it's really good. It's very tempting, honestly. Um, all right, here's a dead person. Let's take their bullets. What's in your desk? Some money and bullets, of course. Um, okay. And then let me see. Have I gone up this way? Probably, right? Well, then let's keep exploring over here. Uh, what did we see? I don't even see what is bad. I probably should. Um, okay. Must be a lurker or something. Oh. Yeah, it's a stalker. It's like right in front of me. So, I didn't see this thing. This might be bad news. Okay, I'm going to be able to kill it. Luckily, I don't even know what a stalker is. I mean, unless we're just talking real life stalker, you know, restraining order type situation. But the good thing is they had money. They had a health hypo. Um, and, you know, that's it. But that's pretty good. At least it wasn't a mine that we found. You know what I mean? And they had a barrel. Like, this is their personal barrel, I guess. And this was their little hallway. So that's kind of where their world was. Alright, I'm just going to hold down and see if there's anything else that we haven't done. So have we gone over there? Probably. So then I'm going to check out where this dumps out up here. Do, do, do. Alright, and it dumps out into an area that we've been before and, and done some good work on. Um, I've even gone over here, it looks like. Let me just double check on that. Yeah, I've completely cleared this and then it's a landslide. Alright. And then, well, great. There might be more to this. I mean, it's always possible. Oh. This must be 
you know, back the entryway back into the SGS. Is that right? Let's go investigate this. See if we can just get back in. I mean, there's a security camera, but it's going to see us, right? So, I don't know if he'll open this door or not. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. So, I'm going to stealth and just kind of walk around and see what else is over here. See if I can get it back into SGS in a reasonable way. Yeah, there's an intercom. But then where does this go? I gotta check this out. Is this just down at the bottom where those explosive barrels were? Let me look at this. Yeah. Okay. We did this. Let's go over here. And then let's just talk on the intercom. See if we can get in. The intercom sings fully functional. Ring it. Nothing happens. End dialogue. And that requires hacking. Alright, so... Well, I can't do that, unfortunately. There are stairs up over here. And then this just kind of... Oh, well, here's a baddie. Wow, they almost... Oh, never mind. I was going to say they almost made it to us, but they did make it to us. Now, the good thing is... Um, they're not very strong. So we're going to pre-med first and then just do this. Oh, it didn't bounce to the other guy. I'm just very confused about that. Must be too far apart. So let's just cryo this person down. They've left uh, the Earth and we will just push the space bar. They have a second win, but this is going to take them down. Okay. End combat. Walk over here. Do you have anything good? You have a crowbar. You have some work coveralls, gasoline. I'll, buy, I'll take your bullets. Uh, what about you, sir? Do you have anything? Oh, well, you have a bandage and a health hypo, so I'd consider this like a complete victory. Um, and you have like a bad gun. All these little fenced areas are pretty amusing okay uh let's take these stairs up where is this gonna dump us okay and then these stairs will put us out here and yes we're very familiar with this territory so i do want to go back to sgs because there's a lot of wheeling and dealing that i would like to do Okay, let's see here. Let me just go this way. Oh, it's funny when somebody gets in your way, what happens? Okay. So... Let's go to the elevator. I'm going to hit engineering. And see what we can do. Uh, maybe this guy sells the psionic parts. Ezra. Got anything to trade, buddy? Okay. He sure does. He's got all of the um, the good stuff. And so what's he looking for? He's looking for um, electronic parts. Uh-huh. 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 All right. So what I need is um, Energy shield emitter. Interesting. EMP mine, grenade, cloaking device. Okay. Um, so here's the stuff, right? Um, metathermic modulator. And Rob, I believe, was letting me know about paying more attention to the quality uh, in terms of, like, determining value. Like, you can see, for example, 
these are very, very similar, except the quality is higher, and so because of the higher quality, it requires larger electronics to deal with, and it's more expensive, right? So that's fascinating. Um, okay, so before I trade with my friend here, I'm going to just escape out of this, and I'm going to go to crafting, and I'm going to check out psionic headband. So I would want psionic enhancements and a headband frame and a modulator. Uh, so I think I have a um, frame, right? A, a bad one. There is no quality written on this, so this might just be whatever. This looks like it's an enhancement, but it requires 80 electronics. So I can't use that. So let's talk to Ezra again and then just see like what he's got in terms of crafting. And so I want um, modulate, like yeah, here's the headband frame. They have no quality. And I want modulators um, and I have to pick which one, right? There's like a thought control modulator. This is an enhancement, psionic mufflers. So it makes you more efficient. That seems really good. Um, this seems insane, but I, I would have to have 50 electronics. It's a blue item that it looks really, really attractive. Um, but let's go ahead and most of the time I'm doing metathermic, right? Cryokinesis is basically my most efficient kill stroke. I am currently wearing a metathermic plus nine item, so I'd probably want to keep that just to be familiar. Um, and we're going to buy this one that is of higher quality. I'm then going to check out these mufflers. I would love to get this. I'm actually, you know what? I should probably, well, never mind. I was going to buy this and then not build anything until I leveled up and put it put the points in my electronics. I'm still going to raise electronics, but I'm not really using temporal psi at all, and so I'm not excited about that. Energy shield emitter, blibbity blobbity component. Okay. And then these are components. Okay. And so, given this, um, what does this one do? Efficient innervation. Um, it's really curious, though. More efficient innervation. Like, I don't innervate that much. Um, I'm going to just keep, like, some of these. And then it would take 321 of my money to get this. And I have 524, so I actually don't have that much. Um, what does this one do? Right. Energy shields. I mean, that's interesting. Um, I can trade him this plasma core. And then that would save us a lot of money. Yeah, let's do that. All right, cool. And then now what I can do is I can go and I can craft um, a psionic headband. And I'm just going to switch over to crafting stuff. And we're going to add this. And we're going to add this. And then we're going to add this. Okay. Um, and so if I put all this together, I will basically make a psionic headband that is just like this that I have here, except... It will also decrease the psi cost by 16% of cryokinesis, pyrokinesis, if I ever use that, which is pretty much never. Um, and so, you know, it's interesting. It's at least better than what I have. So let's create it, and we made it. And then now I can go into my inventory and go over here and we can just slap this baby on the muffled metathermics headband and we got it all right fantastic um 
energy shield emitter. I should probably learn how to make an energy shield. Um, you know what I mean? Like, why not? Okay. Uh, let's make this. And it would cost 200. Okay. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to learn this. And then I'm going to craft and say, if I wanted to make an energy shield emitter, what would I need? I would need a base, a primary modulator, an energy core, um, and then a secondary modulator and an enhancement. Um, okay. So that plasma core that I sold was probably that uh, energy core, right? Let me see. Um, yeah, looks like it. Here is... Um, Eh, it's hard to keep track. I need a base, a modulator, and a core. All right, well, I don't think I'm going to be making a, this anytime soon. Let me see if it just sells one outright, like an energy shield emitter that's not um, gear. Do you sell one? Here you go. Okay, so this is what it would do. Um, So it has a capacity of 295, and if it's on, it can shield me. It's a very expensive item. I can't afford this. But I could try to get one, and that's looking pretty interesting. If I wanted to build one, he sells the modulator the base uh-huh I mean and then a converter to increase their efficiency I could get some of the stuff but I don't think I have all of it I would need the plasma core this 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 is a very pricey item but it's really interesting to consider it for the future um, do you have any Psy abilities? Break mines. Oh, okay. Um, but it's quite expensive. It's thought control 45. Um, but it does sound interesting. See you later. And then I can go up here and talk to Harold. Oh, he wants to talk to me. Um, of course, Harold. What's this all about? I wanted to talk to you about... Uh, Something that is luckily not as urgent at this moment, but important nonetheless. You see, after the earthquake, we experienced a major power outage. Whole station went black. Usually when things like that happen, our backup generators switch on to provide power until we get our main power back. Uh, keep talking. I'm interested. Will do. The thing is, there's a delay before the backup generators kick in. It's usually just several seconds, but that means we have an interruption in power. And for many reasons, that is unacceptable. Just imagine you're in the med bay being operated on, and suddenly there's no power anymore. That's just one example. I won't go into mentioning all the systems in SGS that require constant power supply. Now, this time, during the earthquake, we had such a large number of batteries die all at once, it's insane. Yes, most of them were pretty old opti uh, opto-electric nuclear batteries. Don't mistake them for common nickel-pallium fusion batteries, though. These are very rare. Um... Interesting, but what do you need me for? Currently, we have a few optoelectric batteries to spare, but if they keep dying, we're going to be in big trouble. So I want you to go to an old battery recycling plant not too far away from here. It's to the east, past the Crossroad Caves. It's been out of commission for years, but maybe you can find something there that we can use. Spare optoelectric cells, related equipment, or blueprints. You, you find any of that, make sure you bring it to me. There's no other place we know of that might have anything similar. Sweet. I'm on the job. Excellent. Now, keep in mind that the earthquake sealed off certain parts of the caves. You'll probably need explosives. Okay, so maybe this is how you get past the rocks. Other than that, be careful when you enter the plant itself. It's been out of commission for quite a while, so who knows what you'll find there. If you can bring me something good, I'll pay you 300 credits. Continue. All right. Um, nod and leave. Great, so now we have a new quest. That's really exciting. And we will jump into that next time, everybody. This is a fantastic place to end the episode. We just built a new headband, and we're ready to go do a new quest. 
I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day, and I will check you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Underrail. Take care.